Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I've got a 2019 Cadillac. What the heck is this thing? XTS. This beauty right here. Customer dropped it off and said they get a transmission error message. Okay, not quite sure what that means, but we're going to find out. Let me get in this thing. I'm kind of in a parking spot here. Let me get in this thing and then we'll start talking some more. All right, so like I said, this is a Cadillac. It's a 2019 XT5. Uh, it's basically a GMC Terrain Chevy Equinox. It's the same vehicle. Uh, it's just the upscaled version. Um, anyway, I know a lot of people are not going to like me saying that, but it's the truth. So... Anyway, I'm in it right now, and they, like I said, they were getting a complaint, or they were complaining of transmission error message. What exactly that means, I don't know. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. Let me do a... So I can never remember on this scanner. I love this scanner, but I can never remember. This is the uh, Launch 919E. Let me show you. And this is actually my go-to scanner. The I find that this does everything... And I mean everything that my Snap-on does for a fraction of the cost. So my Snap-on is actually due for an upgrade, and at a thousand dollars an upgrade, an update rather. I don't know. I could buy two of these for that thousand dollars. Actually, almost three. Um, let me see. I don't recall if it's System Scan or Health Report. I can never remember, but I think it's Health Report. Let's see. And if I go in here, into health, you know, the lighting, I got a bad sun glare today. If I go into health report, let me turn the car around while it's doing this. Because the way the sun is, is just ridiculous. Uh, let's see. There's reverse. I just want to get out of the sun glare. All I'm trying to do. Look at that awesome Dodge Ram right there. Right. So, now there's a couple of features that I really like with this scanner, I'll show you in a second. So it's just going through, it's telling you these modules here had no fault codes. It did have a fault code in the engine. It's almost done. Alright. Chassis control module requested mill illumination. Mill is, uh, oops, mill is the check engine light. So, chassis control module sent code for the transmission range signal, range selector shaft position sensor, not plausible. Transmission range selector shaft position sensor performance. I have no idea what those mean. However, one thing that's nice that I could do with this is report. And here is the report that comes up. And as you see, it says abnormal here, but in the actual report, which I could pull it down now, it'll show me this. See that? I could see that. Oops, I could see that. In the actual report, it'll all of this will come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share. I'm going to send it to my email. I'm going to hit send. So it's sending me an email in regards to the issue with this car. All right. And the nice thing about that is it gives you this nice looking actual report that you can print up and give to a customer if you wanted to. But it also gives you a piece of paper you can hold in your hand if you're like me, where I need something in my hand. I need something in my hand to physically look at. It's just how I work. It's how my mind works. Otherwise, 
like if it's not in my hand where I can actually look at it and say, oh, I got code one and I got code two, I'll be like, oh, what are the codes? Oh, look, there's a squirrel over there. You know, it's, it's just how this thing works up here. Um, I'm gonna leave the car right here. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna pull up this report and then I'm gonna look up these codes. I'm gonna see what, they, what it gives me. The one thing the Snap-on gives you that this doesn't, the Snap-on gives you common repairs and it also has um, what's called troubleshooter, which this scanner does not have. The common repairs part, if you have to upgrade your scanner, it won't allow you to go into that. Common repairs is just for, hey, take a look at this. this it's not like, hey, this is the problem. The other one with troubleshooter, which is nice, is it gives you, okay, code uh, PO420, bank one cat efficiency. And it'll tell you, basically, it'll give you like the flow chart of what the manufacturer gives you for that trouble code. Or it'll give you just a basic breakdown of what to look for and stuff like that and say, you know, here, these are the tests. This is what you have to check for. And this is the parameters you're supposed to have. This scanner does not do that, unfortunately. But this scanner, other than that, does everything. In all honesty, troubleshooter and that other part of the of the Snap-on, don't really use it all that often anyway. So, all right, let's go in the shop and let me pull up this report and let's look at diagnostics and see what I come up with. All right, so here I am in the shop, and um, let me just show you this. Oh, and real quick, I know people email me uh, quite often, and because of the issues I am having with Mrs. Wrenching, um, she's basically a roller coaster up and down. Um, because of the issues we're having, her health issues, uh, sometimes it, I could go weeks before I even check my emails to answer people, because I just mentally I'm just... I, I don't have the capacity to do it right now, and I apologize for that. But I hope you understand. So if if I do answer, if if I get a chance to answer you, I will. It just sometimes it takes quite a while before I actually get to it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so let me just show you this. So back into my email here, I'll get something like this: report of Cadillac. Click here to download the diagnostic report, and here it is. And it'll show you all of this. And actually, let me see. Let me send this to the printer. And let me print this up real quick. Hang on. All right. So here you see. This is actually the report that they give you. And there you go. You can see the codes. And like I said, for me, I like having things on paper right in front of me. And it's also good, like I said, if you want to keep it for yourself or if you want to give it to the customer so they can see it. And it's at least, you know, it makes everything look nice and professional. That's what I like about it. But my Snap-on does not do this. Um, but yeah, you can see it's only got 36,000 miles on it. Um, but yeah, so now I got to look up these codes and I got to see what is actually an issue. and go from there, like see where these codes actually lead me. Now one second here. That was the one thing I do not like about the scanner is, which I mean, maybe they do this for a reason, I don't know. But here, as you see, there's no PO number for the actual codes. So you have to either recall them or write it down. So for this, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go back and look at the scanner and I'm gonna write the code next to what it is. Why they don't do that, I don't know. Um, maybe it's for customer reference because some, sometimes customers will see a number like that and since they don't have any idea what it is, you know, maybe they do that on purpose so not to confuse people, I don't know. But. Um, yeah, so with, that's the one thing with this scanner. My other scanner will do that. It will give you the actual code. This one won't. So let me go actually write down the code on here so this way I have it, and then we're going to look these up. Okay, the only thing that I really found looking up that code is they're telling you to relearn the gear shift. If not, then the module has to get replaced or reprogrammed, the module that controls the actual shifting. It's not the transmission. It's a separate piece. 
Um, so let's see if we can do this. You have to do this with the engine off. So let me see how this actually works out because this is a push start. And sometimes these can be a real pain in the neck because they'll allow you to put it into like a run position, but then you can't shift into neutral. So let's just see what happens. All right, so here we have the push start button. I'm gonna push it and hold it. It's not running yet. There we go, okay, so it's running, or it's on. So now, as you see, it says park on the dash there just below the W. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the shifter here. I'm gonna press the button on the side here and I'm gonna pull it down into drive maybe. Okay, oh, I pushed it forward. I, I held the button and I pushed it forward so it went into neutral, so it has to be in neutral. All right, so back this up. Gear selector position, learn. Brake pedal must be applied, it is. Select neutral. Do not move the shift lever during this process. Okay. So it did it. Let's shift this thing back into park. I put it back in park. Now let's go learn value reset. I don't know what that is. Will it tell me? Command state, none. I have no idea what this even means. What's more DS mean? I wonder if this is like um, adaptives, maybe? I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to hit reset. Can't do any, any harm at this point. Okay. Let's go back. All right. Start it. Let me go completely back and let me clear codes. There's no trouble codes here. Transmission range control module. And there's nothing there. Engine control module. Read codes. Okay. Chassis control module is where the code actually stored, but from everything I read, it has to do with that module for the shift control, which is what I did, and which is through the training control module. But let's go back to actually, let's clear this code. Now, GMs, you should be able to leave running while you do this. Okay. So let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Chassis control module. Okay. Let's go back, let's clear these codes out. Say yes. Didn't like that, but let's shut it off and put it into run mode. Maybe that'll. I forgot I gotta hold it. Alright, so let's go back to clear fall code. Let's see if it'll do it. Okay, yeah. Alright. So now let's read full code. There shouldn't be anything there. All right. So we have no fault codes. Let's do a health report yet again. 
<clears throat> all right so I've passed all of the drivetrain and engine stuff already so now it's into body type stuff which there were no codes so i'm just going to let that run i'm going to road test this thing and see what happens um if this doesn't work like i said then the actual control module will have to get reprogrammed according to what i've read or replaced they said if it will not take a reprogram then you have to replace it we don't do reprogramming we have a reprogrammer that comes in so let me take it for a ride and see what happens all right, so I'm in uh, my proving grounds over here in Mexico, and um, I had no issues driving here. Everything's shifting fine. No messages on the instrument cluster. No check engine lights, no nothing. But I, I never experienced the issue myself before. It just had those codes set. Um, I'm going to return the vehicle to the customer at this point. There's really nothing more I can do. Um, the problem is when you have a code that's not an active code, like those weren't active, like it didn't have an active message, um, you know, it's like, what do you do? Like, I, you can't just throw parts at it. You can, but I mean, what are you gaining at that point? Uh, I'd rather be able to verify the problem first. Um, so, and one thing I just noticed, it says the odometer on the paperwork on that report says 36,000. But the car actually only has 22,000. So, what's the difference there? Why is that? I don't know. Makes you wonder if something wonky went, went on with this vehicle at some point, but you never know. I mean, I've seen, like, if, they have, if a module got changed and for some reason the mileage wasn't entered correctly, that can happen. So, just weird. Uh, but yeah, so anyway. I'm going to basically leave it at that. Um, there's nothing really more I can do. All right. Hopefully you got something out of that. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. I'll put a link in the description there for the scanner um, in case you want to check it out. Like I said, I really I really like the scanner. I think it's a very good scanner. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.